Hey guys, I know this is kind of weird. Uh, didn't have a morning stream and now we're streaming at like, you know, 12 o'clock. That's kind of weird, right? So instead of two streams that are, you know, an hour and a half or so long, this is actually just going to be one longer stream for this afternoon. Um, watch the book of Boba Fett is the reason why. <laughs> I just made some coffee and watched that in bed. Um, and it was... I have opinions about it. But anyways, watch that. Had some lunch and stuff, showered. Uh, and yeah, we're ready to go here. Um, I think last time we left off, yeah, we're just about to do this mission here. Um, and yeah, I, I got nothing else. That's just a little, little update there. Just doing a little, looking into some gym stuff and such. And let's just carry on with some more. Some more. Uh, do I have Thorin knives, actually? That's a good question. I don't think I do. I got a couple. Daisy, right? Is anyone else here? Paul sent me. He's been worried about you, Fitz, and your team. Where is everyone? At the Larrabee building, on Milton Court, not far from here, by the modern art sculpture. Fitz and Francis arranged to meet there. Francis seems more civilized than his brother Avery, but ask me, I think he just hides his crazy better. I warn Fitz not to trust Francis, but my son, sometimes he's far too trusting. Chances are he waltzed right into an ambush. Please, check the Larrabee. You'll see the sign. Okay. How will I recognize Fitz? He's medium height, dark brown hair, bright blue eyes. Uh, blue jeans, black jacket with a, a pin on it. The Eye of Horus. <laughs> His lucky charm. For mystical protection, he says. The Eye of Horus? What's that? That old Egyptian eye. Like that one. <laughs> Silly superstition, maybe, but right now, I hope it works. Amen is a part of ancient Egyptian culture for freaking many centuries. At the intersection of St. Paul Boulevard and Eugene Garnier Thruway, where the E10 collapsed. Look there, too. Bring my boy back and the team. Hear me? Roger that. I'll find them. Just get back to Paul at the canteen. Hey, any goodies in here? No. Attached? Looks like an ambush. Might be time to look in on Francis. Maybe he has some answers. There's some foul play going on here. Hmm. 
Uh, I somehow survived that. I don't know what I'm doing. I don't know what I'm doing, you guys. <laughs> I have no idea what I'm doing. Help me. Please don't kill me. <laughs> Is the peacekeeper basically up here or something? Combat challenge, okay. Don't forget. Ooh, excuse me. It's right here. Anybody else seen this shit? <laughs> I mean, I know where he is. Ooh, that was actually pretty easy. Garbage, garbage. Friends of yours. What do you want? Daisy and Paul sent me. I'm looking for Fitz and his team. They never returned after they were supposed to meet with you. Okay. So this looks bad. But I'm putting my weapon down, okay? This is all my psycho brother Avery's fault. Let's start there. He'll do anything to anyone to get what he wants, including to me, his own brother. So when this Fitz kid showed up, I saw a chance to get free of Avery. I told Fitz exactly what the kind of monster my brother was, and he signed up on the spot to help me take Avery down. So the bodies at the Larrabee? Avery's guys. My brother is a psycho to everyone. So we gave them a chance to join us against Avery. The bodies you saw. The men who declined. The rest of us headed over to Metropole Tower. Over there. That's where Avery's holed up. Fitz took point. I held some men back to guard the rear. Uh-huh. And where are Fitz and his team now? They... Ah... Uh, they were captured by Avery's crew. They took Fitz alive. I wouldn't leave him behind, not after what he did. But now that my men are dead, not sure what I can do now. Are you sure Fitz is still alive? Last I saw, my brother likes him awake when he tortures them. I'll head to the skyscraper now. If Fitz is dead, you're next. Why blame me? He had skin in the game. His poor, injured mother. Wait, didn't I take this bandit camp? Yeah. Um. That's the guy I 
Just give me some time. I know you're worried. I was a bit like you when I joined the army, you know. Good, noble, with a purpose. I believed I could change the world. But the world kept changing. As did its institutions. Yeah. Maybe we could finally change it. For the better. <coughs> oh, fuck's sake. <coughs> Let me know when you spot the first antenna. <coughs> Aiden, have you spoken to Luan? Uh, not really. Not answering the radio. Where the hell is she? No idea, Frank. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. Fuck that. You're a bad seed, Aiden. You really screwed us. And you gave him the station knowing how it hurt us. So help me if anything happens to her again. Oh, slow down, Frank. What do you mean again? Luan has her kill list. She's obsessed with it. Her kill list will only kill her, I'm telling you, Aiden. You really need to pull yourself together, Frank. I'll let you know if I hear from the one. Where the fuck <laughs> is this coming from? Shit. Wait. Gave him the tower? What tower? I think that... You know what? I think that was some messed up dialogue there. Because I gave them the tower. Like this, like this tower is theirs, and I gave them the mostly the fucking territory. So I have no idea what the fuck Jack is going on about. Tough kid, huh, boss? When I saw those baby blues, I thought he'd start crying like a toddler. Nah, they didn't tell me anything I didn't already know. Francis, them. <laughs> no offense, boss, but. Your brother's not right. <laughs> no shit, Sherlock. He's been waiting for years to make his move. We'll get him. Oh, he lied to Whatever's me. Whatever's left of his group soon enough. Ain't no one left. We killed them all. Uh, Avery. Just the man I came to see. Ah, oh, another of Francis's goons. Been here long? Long enough to know that you tortured a kid to death. He attacked me, you know. Never saw the kid before today. And the torture, well, it's just a hobby of mine. His fault for provoking me. Well, shit. Francis told the truth about you, at least. You invaded their territory and Fitz only came to talk, so what happened? Francis, probably. Cause truth be told, I was willing to talk. I sent a man with a map to propose a reasonable division of the territory. Next thing I know, this crazy kid shows up at my doorstep. My brother got into the kid's head. It's what he does. So, I'm Francis's plan B to kill you then. And like Fitz, no blowback on him if you kill me first. But he forgot one thing. That we might talk. So how about we make a deal? Go back and kill him for me. And I don't make you my next hobby horse. And I'll let Daisy and Paul know that this is my turf now. All of it. Well, I was but willing to talk, and then he anymore, just said that. Avery. Too busy here to even notice that? Your camp is gone. You and your guard here are the last man standing. Carlo, status? Come in, Carlo. I like you, kid. You have some balls. Oh, yeah, because I took the fucking fort. Well, that's got a nice little uh, bit of dialogue because it just took the bandit camp. You better check that body. <laughs> yeah, I already took this uh, camp. But that's, that's good they thought of that, though. It's like, hey, mate, like, you do you realize, like, the peacekeepers are, uh, are right below you? Goober. Eye of Horus. Shit. That's really blurry. This must be Fetz. It looks like an agonizing death. Time to make Francis pay.
Yeah. I mean, I'm making good on on his promise here. Boy died. I mean, I'm so glad you made it back. Phew. Fitz. Yeah, no, you okay? you're a fucking rat. Everyone's dead just like you wanted. Fitz and Avery included. Time for you to join them. Hold up. With Avery gone, it's time for me to get mine. You did me a serious solid killing his men like that. No one can stop me from taking over. Certainly not Daisy or Paul. And sure as hell, not you. That hit me, what? That didn't work out very well, did it? <laughs> Push me to the edge. How could that be? Jesus. How you like me now, jackass? <laughs> Okay, this is not going very well. <laughs> like, holy shit, man. I did not expect to get fucking flung out the... Flung out the window. What the fuck? That was probably the worst fight I've ever had. And so is Fitz. We better get back to Frank's. Paul's um, not gonna like the news. Oh, my poor Daisy. Fuck. Yeah, so uh, apologies for seeing that fight because that was atrocious. <laughs>
We'll level up this so we can, um... I think... This is 500, right? Yeah, so I'll need a few more, um... I'll need a few more boosters. Okay, that didn't work. <laughs> I don't know why I was pressing B. <laughs> I guess. You have to give me like... 30 minutes minimum to, uh, to warm up to this game. <laughs> Even though I just played it yesterday. Um, I don't know why. It always seems like that, the first part of the stream. You know, I'm absolutely garbage. The days you make it back, I don't see her. She did. She's resting. Uh, where's Fitz? He... He's dead. Francis conned him. He and your team were duped into attacking Avery. No, wait, what? Fitz? Th th that doesn't make any sense. It's, it's not like him. Francis used Fitz's love for his mother and the fact that she'd been injured to fire him up. And then Avery caught him and tortured him to death. Poor stupid kid. Getting himself killed just because he loved his mother. Fucking bullshit. All right. Okay. And what about the rest of the team? Marta, Snarry, Mehmet, are they gone too? Never saw him myself, but from what I can tell, I don't know how they could have survived. Well, at least tell me that Francis and Avery are dead. You got him, didn't you? Yeah, I took care of both of them. They won't be a threat to you anymore. All those people dead. <laughs> we never wanted to fight. <sighs> what a fucking mess. What the hell do I do now? You comfort Daisy. You mourn your friends. Then... You carry on with life. Here's the reward I promised. Someone had to get something good out of this. Might as well be you. I have to tell Daisy about Fitz now. Not a conversation I want to have. But I gotta pull the bandage off. Quick. At least her son's murderers are dead. And that's what they call cold comfort. <laughs> well, it'll have to do. Fuck. Thank you, Aiden. Hmm. We got some of that Muda. You know, we'll check the stores up here too and see if there's anything good. Back off, man. This bow is a hundred, right? A hundred. So I'll sell this. I'll definitely buy that. I'll use the one thousand by that. Um, one sixty. Fuck yeah, might as well. Yeah, I just can't justify, man, spending all this money on gear, like... <laughs> uh... Like, I'll... I'll buy the odd weapon. But, um... Um, but like, yeah, I'm not dropping like fucking 10 grand for one piece of armor. I, I just won't do that. Um, all right. Closure.
Fuck it, yeah. Do a nighttime mission. Haven't done one of these in a bit. Wait. Fuck, where's Lonnie's house? It's right here, right? It's over here. Oh, wait, I was just thinking, is that tower territory in the outsiders ter or the survivors? No, okay, yeah, so I have no, I was just thinking, I'm like, oh, wait, what if the towers in, you know, survivor territory? And I was like, oh. Okay, that makes sense, because I gave the territory to the survivors, so you might think of that as a betrayal, but no. <laughs> this is all PK territory. So, yeah, I, I, I think that was just a bug, or like an oversight in the dialogue option, because like... <laughs> I didn't hand over the survivors anything. Civilizations, but a whim of circumstance. Um, but okay. Let's go explore, boys. And girls. Traversing is super easy, though. Uh. Um, <laughs> uh, one twenty-seven, one sixteen. Well, this is my weakest link here, so I'll put this shovel on. Wait, do I have that double jump yet? Oh, I don't have it yet. Okay, but I'm going. I've been trying to do it the odd time. I'm like, how come this ain't working? But makes sense. I don't have it, which is why. Oh, no, I'll do actually. Well, uh. Gonna put on that. I was about to say, like, see, this is what I'm talking about. Like, having that grapple hook just makes everything a hundred percent easier. You can skip a lot of. It still costs stamina, mind you, but like, you can skip stuff now. <laughs> I think this is a peacekeeper settlement, right? Yeah. And then this should get us a bunch of structures in this area, too. Okay, well, we have another base of operation here, so hot diggy dog. Mm. 
Um, that wasn't smooth as well either. But. <laughs> Just hearing my dog up there bark. Um, so yeah, crossbow still does work. Maybe I should have tried using the bow 2v8. Like, how many rounds did I use there? I used 20. What did I want? Grab Let's take down. To be honest with you, I think I might just do this. Yeah, I'll grab that. The only thing about that shovel I don't care too much for is, uh, is the, uh, it's pretty slow on the swing. I just, uh, <laughs> uh, 
Oh shit, these PKs got murdered. Um, yeah, we'll just rest here. No need to do this during the night. Good progress. We're doing lots of side stuff and just having to like eight days away, which is pretty cool. I just kicked that fucking guy's head off. I said, I'm getting sick and tired of this shit. Burn. <laughs> shit, there's a BK outpost right there. <laughs> you don't want to take out the... Because of you. Stop Khan and others to run your dangerous errands. If I so much as get a whiff, you pull this on anyone else, I'm turning you in. Hey. Who are you? Another one of this fool's errand boys? <laughs> Whatever. I don't give a shit. I'm getting out of here. What's going on here? What was he talking about? Uh, you see, before the fall, uh, I was an actor. Not even a good one. Oh. Bereft of a stage, I, I took my craft to the streets and became a con artist. But not a very good one of those either, as I'm still quite poor. Everything you said about your father, your family? Yeah, it was a lie. I had to convince you to retrieve those valuables for me. The legend of the creature is real. Well, as real as the bandits who invented it to trick people into offering up their valuables. <coughs> They come by later and collect them. I didn't dare go there myself and risk them catching me. So I figured I'd have someone else go. Keeping these greedy, up. lazy bastard. What do you want from me? Well, to stop. At least you're honest about one thing. I try. Sometimes, like for your trouble. Oh, I was. As Don't worry. Me, the curtain's going. To... Oh. To be or not to be, that is the question. Whether it is noble in the mind. Oh, I had some to weird framing the drops there. Of outrageous fortune, or to take arms against a sea of troubles, and by opposing, no more, and by asleep to say we end the heartache. And was he like stabbed or something? Well. Um, well, if you had a day job, I say not to quit it. That's what I say. Like, he didn't get stabbed. He just got, like, pummeled or something. <laughs> Jesus. Well, I'm, I'm, like, the what, like, the quests that aren't fetch quests are actually really good. I'm digging them. Like, they feel like actual good quests.
You know what? I'm kind of feeling, uh... Feeling like doing a little bit of the main missions. I know I said we were going to, like... You know... Tackle, like, a lot of the side content, but, uh... To be honest with you, I kind of just want to... Was. But anyways, we're back. I'm going to go have a drink. All righty, I am back. Thank you. Sorry for the wait. Let us, uh... I want to find a good spot to end on. To take a break from the main story. Because I keep feeling like um, things keep ramping up. And like, I ask, oh, I got to do the next main quest. And it just drives me insane. Um, I want I want to take a break from it. When, like, you're kind of allowed to breathe. Like, or feels like you can breathe. You know, it's kind of like... Oh, that's some weird frame rate issues there. I don't know if you guys know what I mean or not by that. Like, for example, let's say, like, you, before the final quest, you want to go do all the side stuff, right? But it's like... Hero! He's about to destroy the whole world! We have to stop him now! Get to the final place! And you're like, okay. But then, uh... Wait. What the hell is that skill? Oh, I have to tap LB. Fuck, sorry, my bad. Um, anyways, and then, like, you know what I mean, though? Like, you're, you kind of feel like you're pressured to, uh, to, uh, to do the final main mission, right? Because you're not gonna, like, <laughs> F off for, like, the fucking, I don't know, like, months in-game, right? To do all the side content and, like, do random shit. Meanwhile, like, the world's ending, you know what I mean? So, like, I kind of want to find a... A good part. I mean, like, this is not a bad part, but, um, take a break, but and then with, like, Luan missing and, like, the fucking colonel, like, fucking calling you and shit like that. Okay. Wait, can I actually... Shit, that guy should do that. Now the question is...
Ah, fuck it. Instead of dicking around, we'll just climb it like how the game wants us to. Unless I see something like this. There we go. Come on, jump up. You see what I mean? Like, why would you fuck around with all this stuff when you just do this? <laughs> Oops, I almost fell off. Hmm. Come on, jump up. There we go. Now here. Fuck, that was bad. Come on, keep the momentum going. Close to the first antenna. Good. You know what to do. I feel like it's kind of weird that um, you can't uh, fast travel to these Night Runners posts because, like, when the fuck would I ever come back up here? <laughs> Besides to do this tower, you know what I mean? Like, if I need to sleep somewhere, I'll just fast travel. I hate these. And my arm is glitching out. <laughs> God, I hate climbing these poles. They're so fucking sketchy. All right. Antenna is on. My man, bravo. The bush won't be expecting that. The next one's on top of a condominium at the intersection of Queen Harriet Boulevard and Downtown Avenue. Hey, you served with the butcher once. What do you think he's planning? I really don't know, Ada. The butcher has always been a mystery to me. The good leader listens and appreciates good soldiers. Him? Never. Never. And now, if he's planning, he needs to be stopped at all costs. What was that? No idea. You see fire and smoke. Renegade. Drop something. You'd better check it out. <sighs> sure. <laughs> as fast as I can. Hey, you want me to come back here?
busy at the moment, buddy. Jack, you there? Jack, I destroyed the cannon. Come to Steven here. Jack Matt's unavailable at the moment. Is there something give me there? No! But, sir, you need to rest. Leave me now. Ada? Took care of the punks and the cannon is no longer a threat. Just what I wanted to hear. Whose voice was that just now? No one. Let me know when you activate the next antenna. Okay. Hmm. That is not what I want to do. That is... This game... Why did it kick me out? Like, 50 feet from the window? She's been avoiding me, too. I don't give a shit about anything going on between the two of you. But if anything happens to her, I'll kill you. You hear me? Back off, Daniel. I heard from her. All she said was not to worry and disconnect it. I, I assume she needs space. And that's what I'm giving her. But you're free to look for her yourself. Fuck off, Gancho. Huh. Yeah, fuck that guy. Um, that's just a challenge thing. And done. The antenna's working. Good. In the meantime, I'm noodling with some text for the new campaign. Will you help me? Okay, I'll try. A version for doves. Regardless of religion or affiliation, we have a place for everyone. Become your best self by joining the peacekeepers. Or maybe an option for hawks. Tired of chaos? Do you believe in order? It's time for you to act. Join the peacekeepers. The key to bringing order to the city might be you. Hmm. Which do you prefer? See that most people don't, um... And you're recruiting them to fight, not plant flowers. The latter is better. Okay, thanks. Well noted. And which of these do you like? The Peacekeeper's mission is to serve the city and exterminate the infected or defend the oppressed. <laughs> the people want to know you're fighting for them. Defend the oppressed. Although... You could be a bit more specific. Oppressed, but by who exactly? Sure, sure. Oh, fuck. What's going on? Report to me, soldier. Renegades and their cannons. Shit. How is the antenna? You must stop them. What do you think I'm trying to do? The antenna's fine for now. <laughs>
You're over there, fucking. I'm just gonna take this out, man. Wait, who's hitting me? Oh. Jack, it's all good. Good. We're bringing together more and more people. Come to the ship, Hayden. There's a recruit here who knows how to find your doctor. We'll be there soon. Yeah, 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 yeah. I should probably do some more military drops. Um, but I'll upgrade the healing. Fuck, I might have to end up selling all these garbage ones. I have, like, so many of these healing kits, but they're shit, right? Compared to the upgrade ones. Same thing for my, uh... For my, uh... uh hey, like, lockpicks and stuff like that. That looks more so, like a you think you have the balls to be a peacekeeper? Yeah. Okay, lots of recruits. Cool, 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 cool. So much fresh meat has arrived. They don't know what they're signing up for. I still remember the day they recruited me. The first day of my new fucking life. I'm not so sure they're all ready to become one of us. Too young. Howdy, soldier. I gave him a chance, man. To me, it is. Hayden, you're here. I'm glad. Okay, that's it for now. So, you're still here, Gadjo. Thank you, my friend. For everything. How will I ever repay you? The doctor's name? Are you working with Daniel? Sure. We trade with whoever's got what we need at the right price. Nomads, they're an odd bunch, isolated by choice, but... They have the best scouts out there. You need something hard to get? You can get it from them, guaranteed. You can finally tell me how to find that doctor like we agreed. Of course, of course. Bring Cadet Gunter in here. Aiden, we've also located a renegade officer's squad. If we hit them, we'll have the upper hand. I've already gathered a team, which includes Luan. You want in on the action? Let's talk about that doctor first. As you wish. Gunter, this is Aiden. You are here because of his efforts. We've met before. Yes, we have. Sir, I have met him, sir. Tell him what you know about that GRE doctor. The doctor is still working at the bazaar. Bazaar? Really? What's his name? Ryan. Veronica Ryan. Wow. <laughs> Her? <laughs> what a trip. What's so funny? She's one of the first people I met after entering the city. You know old Villador quite well, don't you? Wait, is that those, like, those two girls? Like, those two ladies that was with Hack on at the very start? What's going on there now? Since Aetor left, the PKs were driven out. Many of your men died there, sir. There have been rumors that the renegades took control of the whole region. And everyone literally hates your guts for what you did, sir. 
I don't remember where this guy is okay. from. So where exactly do I find the doctor? Somewhere in the vicinity of the church. Good. Finally. Okay, Cadet Kunta. That's all. Now go back to your training. Yes, sir. Good luck, Aiden. <coughs> Damn it! <coughs> Are you Lung okay? cancer or something? <laughs> Just leave for fuck's sake. <coughs> Uh, okay. Dignity and peace. Veronica. Same Veronica. Life sucked. Then the speaker started. Wait, playing. isn't that that Billy Talent? I'm not crazy. I'm pretty sure that's a Billy Talent song. Saint Veronica. Yeah. Can't leave this world behind. Uh, two forty. Yeah, 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 yeah. Let's uh get rid of you. Get rid of you. Fuck it. We'll buy you. Uh. It's just more damage resistance. Uh. You know what? I think I might do that. Yeah, I'll take the extra armor and the damage and I'll lose all the other shit. Sure. Uh, I mean, I guess stuff is more expensive and like, obviously you could sell this gear for hundreds of dollars, but like, yeah, I still can't. Yeah. Yeah, I just can't see myself uh, spending like 10,000 bucks <laughs> on that shit. Medicine. Yeah, so. One fifty four, one sixty five. There we go. Um. I mean, fuck, I guess I could do that. I still haven't used those bars yet at nighttime. Or the flashlight, for that matter. But it's about 12 o'clock. Yeah, we have time to do this mission during the day. Really, game? <laughs> Wait. Aha! <laughs> I don't know why it took me too long to think of that. I'm guessing Hakon's gonna be here too. Hakon? It's so weird seeing this place emptied. I 
mean, it's a good thing I did all those quests. Who the fuck are you? They're all gone. <laughs> Sophie. Yeah. Who did this? Oh, she's gonna kill me. You. <gasps> you. And the peacekeepers. Your friends. They attacked the bazaar. Most of us died trying to protect it. I told you. I told you that after you blew up their water towers. All their after you killed their leaders. Of wanting peace. And look. Look what they've done to the bazaar. My home. Does this look like peace, Aiden? So many years of work. So many years of fighting. You Why won't. Did you even like, come here? <laughs> I'm looking for Dr. Veronica Ryan. Well, then you're a lucky son of a bitch. She survived. Where is she now? Why would I tell you? Sophie, I didn't start this war. I was trying to warn you. You know what? Okay. That bitch Ryan used to help the PK. Said they're people just like us, and they're not. Whatever you want from her... We'll probably get her killed anyway, knowing you. Which is good. I wish that for her. And as far as I know, there are also some renegades trying to take her out. Last I heard, she was hiding in a building north of Quarry End. Courtesan Row Street. Thank you. Get out of my sight. Miserable wretch. I'm sorry. Mm, yes, I'm just... So much work. I mean, it, it's kind of hard to take. Tile work. What you just blow up their fucking water supply and shit like that, and attack their soldiers, and you don't expect the retaliation from a militarized group? Like, fuck. Survivors are really, really dumb. And like I said, it's nothing but them betraying me, attacking me, trying to kill me numerous times. Like, why the fuck would I care that <laughs> that place got absolutely destroyed? Like, zero, zero sympathy um, when it comes to them. Especially that brother, too. Fuck him. <laughs> so. I'm fine with my choices, Sophie. Uh, how about yours? Maybe uh, attacking the peace peacekeepers uh, wasn't the brightest idea. And I never actually attacked your people. Uh, your people constantly attacked me, so... Really, most of the time, it's been self-defense. Actually, pretty much all this whole conflict has been, you know, self-defense. Like, uh, I, I understand what she she expected. the biomarker from St. Joseph. Your design? I did get it in St. Joseph's. Why? My design. My idea. Although, no, the one you're wearing is slightly different from the one I put together during the summer of 2024. Yes, the original biomarker was much more useful. Well, you invented biomarkers? What are you doing in this trading post, then? Science in trade. What did you think? That's called capitalism. Right, and look what it led us. Anyway, would you be interested in the original biomarker? Like I said, far more useful than the ones we're wearing now. Uh, maybe? All right, I'm interested. Keep talking. How is it special? Ooh, where should I start? So, beyond monitoring the concentration of THP infectious agents in your blood, the initial biomarker organically enhanced the synthesis of phosphocreatine, providing phosphates to ADP molecules and stimulating the... Whoa, 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 English, please. It made people stronger and faster. Okay. Okay, now you have my attention. But how come people aren't using this model, then? Probably because it's too dangerous to give to the public. Minor side effects. 
And also that too. Doesn't matter. Death. What matters is my obnoxious rival, Dr. Katsumi Kobayachi, then head of the GRE, deemed it too dangerous. You locked it up in a safe somewhere inside that building over there. St. Joseph's Hospital? Exactly. I can see you're not that fresh in the city. Wanna know how to open the safe and get my original biomarker? Sure. I found a note on Katsumi's desk. Seems like she encrypted the code of the safe through some sort of riddle. What's the riddle? What becomes smaller when you turn it upside down? That's the first digit of the safe. Yes. The second one is an odd number. Take away a letter and it becomes even. What number is it? And the third one? A little girl goes to the store and buys one dozen eggs. As she is going home, all but three eggs break. How many eggs are left unbroken? Now, find the safe in Katsumi's office in St. Joseph's Hospital and use these three digits. That's the uh, second one. I might actually have to think about my biomarker inside of it. There's the note with the riddle in case you need more time. Huh. I'll have to have to think about that one. Odd number, if you take away a letter, it makes it even. Hmm. I'm too dumb for that, man. <laughs> Stand by, sir. No threat identified here. You know what? I don't think I've ever been this close to the wall. It's kind of weird seeing up close. You get it way too fast from that. I used to tables, baby. And I'm also like glitching out on something. Sounds like a Vorcha from Mass Effect. Ooh, a lot of dead PKs, man. Fuck. Nasty way to go. Nasty way to go. Veronica, why do you want to know? I need your help. 
And it seems she may need mine as well. Is she okay? She managed to escape. I need to find her. Do you know where she is now? No. But we can try to contact her. Veronica? Veronica? Are you safe? Veronica? Oh, shit. Something's not right. Yes. See, there are a perfect example! I am now. They wait like two seconds to respond. Like, to speak to you. give them time, man. Jesus. Hey, Dr. Ryan, I'm Aiden. I know that you're being hunted by the renegades. Hurry, Aiden. More renegades may be here any minute. Jack Matt, he told me you worked for the GRE. I need access to the GRE database in the observatory. I, I have a GRE key. A GRE access key? That's what I've been told. You think you can. Let's meet. I'll be in a small building near the dam, not far from the observatory. Okay, I'll go. Hello? Be careful, Aiden. The place is soaked in chemicals. I will. Thanks for the heads up, Vincenzo. Well, it seems that despite everything, you saved my life. Farewell, Aiden. Farewell. I honestly don't remember who that guy is. <laughs> Uh, is that bad? I... I just don't know who he is. Wait, what? Oh, because I'm gonna like ambushed here or something, that's why. Yeah, that's why I could fast travel. Ah, my personal mission can wait. Plan to attack the colonel? Yes. I'm going to give the butcher what he deserves. And this city, it deserves peace, Aiden. I'm sure you agree. The question is, whether you'd be willing to help get there. I'll see if I can help, but I really have to get things started with Dr. Ryan. Understood. Good luck, Aiden. Oh, so Ash. Well, that's cool. That's a choice where, like, you get the option to do that side content. I thought, like, it'd be like. If you say, say for example, you, um. You don't do. Like, you, uh. How much? Let's say you choose not to meet up with the doctor, right? And you choose to go and attack this, you know, colonel or whatever. Uh, maybe like the doctor dies or something because she gets swarmed by infected while waiting for you. I don't know. That's what I was kind of like picturing, but it seems like there's no uh, there's no uh, punishment. I am proud because the city is a lot safer. <laughs> Thanks to me, by the way. Jeez, I can't even see with this fog. Holy shit, man.
Ah, uh, come on. I think I might sleep here first. Or not. I'll do this windmill later. Good to see you back in business. Are you sure you're all right? I told you to hurry. Well, maybe if you'd given me the heads up instead of ghosting me, we... Oh, stop whining. We've done enough talking for a week. Can we just focus on the job at hand? You see? There weren't that many of them. Looks like they were evacuating the camp. Evacuating? Yeah. I don't know why. Somebody's still here. Oh, it's French guy. Demolin? What are you doing here? Please, don't hurt me. I'm not a renegade. What are you doing here? I'm... I was here to talk. Trying to... Negotiate. With the butcher's people? Yes. For... Well, you see... For whom? Juan sent you? Yes. He... He wants peace. He believes... He believes that Jack Matt is a bigger threat than the Colonel. You must see this as well. I'll make my own judgments. Just try to look beyond the surface. That only works as long as the surface is clear. Does that mean you'll hand me over? Are you going to tell Matt about me? <sighs> nah. You did nothing wrong. Just trying to follow orders. Just, just go. Thank you. Thank you. No point. To like ratting. Go on. The camp is empty. Time for the next bastard. Wait. How many people did Jack tell you to liquidate? Jack didn't tell me to do anything. I did what I had to do. The target was spotted near the church south of St. Paul Island. It's one of the butcher's key officers. You're always so keen to help me. Why not hit him together? What, you think I'm not up for it? Shut up. You can join me, or I'll do it myself. Over and out. One. <laughs> This reminds me of a, a thing from a, from Mass Effect where Garrus is getting like chewed up. He's like, "You're so mean," and I'm okay with that. <laughs> I don't know. Man. Aiden seems like he might be a little. Uh... Jesus, look how fucking dank it is down there. I don't know if that's like a glitch. Or something like it looks like it's fucking burnt to a crisp.
Oh shit, right where I was going. Well, actually, I don't know if I could. I guess I can't. Uh, this game has some weird things where, like, I should have been able to double climb that. We all saw Aiden. Boss fight. Just screams boss right now. The one. Am I late again or what are you talking about? I'm at the church. Did you get the officer? I haven't been there yet. Why? What are you saying? Nothing. There's no one here. I thought you had something to do with it. I'm almost there. Aiden? Long time no see. What are you doing here? I could ask you the same question. Where is everyone? Renegades were supposed to be here. Along with the officer you came to kill. Lucky bastard. Apparently Williams ordered evacuations of some outposts. Well, apparently? Well, who sent you here then? Waltz? Waltz isn't privy to Williams' directives. You're asking too many questions, Aiden. There will be hell to pay if you keep it up. Eh, yeah, fuck you, Hakon. I'm not here because of you. You cock. You still on Waltz's leash, I see. Enough chit chat, Aiden. Give me the key. <laughs> what? The GRE key, Aiden. Give it to me. Nah. Try taking it from me, Hakon. I'll do my best. Promise. Get that key from him. I let you live once, hack on. It's not happening again. Well, actually, I could upgrade this, I think. Mm. Yeah, let's add some... Uh... Let's add some shock to it.
A little shock and fire, why not? The guy's corrupted, fuck. Not bad, kiddo. I just... I just gutted like fucking 20 of your people. It's over, man. It is over. After I search all these bodies. So let's give me a minute. Is that what you wanted? Are you really ready to kill me for that key, Hakon? Well, so many people have died already. You can't stop the wheel from turning now. But, but you had a chance to kill me. To take it from me at the bazaar. What changed? Well, what do you think, kid? You promised to get me out of the city. We had a deal. But then you ratted me out. But you think Waltz will just let you go, just like that? You know what he did to Dylan. To... to all the others. Yeah. Right him out. stood in his way. Dylan betrayed him. Lucas wouldn't give up the key. So? So you murdered him. The key is my pass out of the city. <sighs> Real fucking shame I have to kill you. <laughs> When did they rat him out, ever? Here, have a couple grenades, asshole. He died instantly. <laughs> You can't get away! Maybe. But you don't want to see me. I ain't as pretty as before. We've both seen your biomarker. You're not gonna find me in time! What are you talking about? people have you betrayed, Hakon? Killian? Frank? Luan? Why did you betray her? Frank told you about the TV station. Told you I chickened out, right? Well, he's wrong about that. It was a suicide mission. And Luan, why did you leave her? What? How do you know about that? <laughs> Just answer the question. I made a deal with the devil. And she had her own hell to deal with. What are you talking about? I left to protect her. If I'd stayed, Waltz would have had her killed. So why did you work with him? Why did you betray Frank? I didn't! I didn't betray Frank. I was trying to fix things. After the TV station, I was planning to spy on Waltz, but he got suspicious, threatened to kill Lawan. And now it's too late.
Oh yeah, you're done now. I'm sorry, Icon. I didn't want this. Jack? Tango down. Come to the ship, Aiden. Um, listen. Luan sent me to the church to hunt down some officer, but he wasn't there. Hakon was. What? So it's true that he's working with those bastards? He was, but Hakon is dead. And the renegades? I think they're withdrawn. Finally. Williams knows that he's losing. Time to hit him. Taking that gear. Stop, Hakon. You're in no condition to fight. Uh, we we'll soon find out. After being roasted we... alive. Hakon, talk to me. This doesn't make sense. I don't want to fight you anymore, Hakon. Neither do I, kid. Neither do I. I mean, I'm so tired. So fucking tired. It's quite a trip, huh? Uh, I was worried that I'd have to learn surfing on my own. Thanks for softening them up for me. Oh, it's my ray of sunshine with a lethal crossbow. Shut the fuck up. Oh, good thing you didn't finish me off, Aiden, or she would have been pissed. I said shut the fuck up. Try to stop me? And we're no longer friends, Aiden. I mean, it's your Fuck. choice, the one. Do what you need to do. That's what I'm talking about. That one. And what I need to do is. Please. Ah! Oh, fuck that one. I thought you were more of a one-shot kill, chick. It just fucking hurts. Are you okay? I don't know. I thought I would feel better. But I don't. This... This doesn't change anything. I mean, so he's dead. He deserved it, and he's dead. But... So what? Well, he was on your list. Plenty of... I feel the same. What if I've been fooling myself? Wait, wait, wait. Rest in peace, Hakon. Hmm. I, I don't know, man. He betrayed a lot of people. And he got a lot of people killed. And he tried to kill you, like, a few times. I... You know what, though? I think that's a, a test to Teclan's writing. Like, oh, sympathize for him. <laughs> Like, fuck. I don't know if there's a right answer. I don't know if... Whatever. Maybe... It's one of those choices where you say, Hey, Luan, stop. And then... I don't know. But... Hey, Jack. Where you been, kid? I wasn't quite as dead as I thought when we last spoke. What happened? He's dead now. There's a door now. So he finally paid for what he did. Justice is served. He saved my life. Did you know that this scum used to be a night runner? The Colonel's forces have been weakened. The time has come to deliver the final blow. Back to the ship. We'll discuss what to do next. Man. Just, uh... I just don't feel right.
just don't feel right, you know? God damn it, hard job. But. Fuck, that actually got me a little bit more than I thought it, it, it really should. Ah, but I guess he was a smooth talker, man. Way she goes. Rainer's men got a huge order for lamps from Matt. How could I have known she was so bad? I'm just gonna go quickly talk to a uh, and see how many more books he wants me to give him. Fuck. Fresh list of book locations for you. Was that Alex Adventures in Wonderland you brought back? Do you consider the library your? I bet. I would imagine, like Alice's journeys, yours are disorienting, and you're probably surrounded by no small amount of madness. <laughs> you seem immune to such afflictions. See, my you really, Aiden? If she only knew the truth. To losing it. More than I'd like to admit, if I'm being honest. It... It means so much that you feel you can be honest with me. Of course I'm honest with you, Thalia. And I'm honest with you, Aiden. I despair myself at times. At least I used to. Things are much better since you've been coming here. Since we've been talking. I've... She? Are you mad, Aiden? Maybe we should discuss this over tea. I'm off. See you next time. <laughs> I'll be counting the hours. She? She's gonna fucking, like, stab me or something in my sleep. I don't know. Uh. <laughs> kinda sus if I. Extremely serious. Of course it is. But this is a private matter. Lung cancer private. or something, I'm guessing. Yeah. Now get the fuck out of here. Uh, Jack? Aiden, glad you're here. I'm sure you'll be meeting Veronica Ryan soon. Thanks to you, we know more about what's going on among the Butcher's troops. There won't be a better time to hit them. So tomorrow, when we attack, I shall call on you again. <laughs> Are you okay? You seem... Uh, Weak? Is that what you're trying to say? I cough, and the doctor seemed agitated. I'm worried about your health. I'm dying, Aiden. Cancer. So, called uh, it. But, but how long before you... Weeks, months, nobody knows. Medicine nowadays. How could anybody know anything, really? I'm... <laughs> I'm so sorry, sir. I don't need pity. I need you to keep doing what you're doing. You know why? Because a man is only worth what he leaves behind. And I want to leave this world a better place. This city, a safer place. You mean without the Colonel? Yes, the Butcher. This, this will be my legacy. <coughs> and that's all I need from you. To help me with that. But isn't attacking the colonel at the dam too risky? I know how to take care of the city, Aiden. Think of the bigger picture. Hypothetically, isn't the risk worth it? You mean the, the lives of thousands? The city in order, the strong leadership, safety. Isn't all this worth anything? So. There is a risk, then. There's never not a risk, Aiden. That's my point. <laughs> I'm going to meet Veronica. But when the time comes, you can count on me. 
Thank you, Aiden. Thank you. Carry on. Off with you already. Yes, sir. Right away, sir. The PK's got more. Ooh, I got some, uh, well, I will do that. I'm gonna get that. Uh, combat, combat. Fuck it. I'll get this. Oh, do like a little like uh, guerrilla warfare style. Okay. You're back, Pilgrim. I love I have done more for this fucking faction than like anyone else, but everyone just still calls me Pilgrim. It's like, bruh, where you are right now is because of me. So, a little bit more uh, respect, please. I thought I had some stuff here to sell. Sixty thousand fucking dollars! Jesus! Mm hmm. cost damage for this time. You know what? I might get this jacket. Just because. That one hit damage. Yeah, fuck it. I'll buy that. Uh, let's see here. PK's top supply every time. Yeah, at least the stuff is starting to look a little bit cooler. Because, Jesus, some of the starting stuff you got, you look like a fucking idiot. <laughs> like, this is a little bit better. I'm definitely curious to see, like, what, like, the, like, a lot of the artifact stuff looks like. So, but I'm going to just keep this outfit on because it looks fine. Yeah, I got no fucking money. I ain't got nothing. Wait, if I sleep, I wonder if I sleep. And because he said tomorrow, right? They're gonna do the attack. I wonder if. Uh... I wonder if they're gonna do it. Oh, it's nighttime right now. Oh, well, I'll see one more time. Control, this is Delta. All right. Well,
most bizarre quotes we've talked about this morning. It's peace. We all want peace. Oh, sorry guys, I was just looking at some stuff. Um, anyways, I'm gonna take a, that break there. Um, break for work. <laughs> um, you know, a nice couple hour stream. Uh, before the uh, days up. I'm just gonna go look at some uh, gym stuff and things too, and you know, maybe start piecing together what my uh, my home gym's gonna look like. And yeah, we'll come back later tonight for another stream. It's uh, enjoying the game a lot, having a lot of fun as always, and. Thank you for everyone for dropping by, chilling out. And I will see you guys in about eight hours tonight for our second stream of the day. Not three today, like normal. Like I said, you know, Book of Boba Fett and stuff like that this morning. Um, so there will be a few days. Well, actually, not anymore because that was the final episode of Book of Boba Fett. So, yeah, I don't think there's anything else coming out that will kind of, like, dip into my, uh, into my streaming. But... Anywho, again, thanks for dropping by, and I will see you guys later. See ya!